Here we go again, the rapture, once again, coming up January 31st, 2018. Oh, man, oh, man, how are people so deceived constantly by these YouTube videos? Something I've noticed is that a lot of people get their spiritual information from YouTube videos and not the Bible. If you're a Christian, you need to be getting your information from the Bible. That's the one thing that will stay true no matter what. You know, how do you know that these people who are making these videos are actually 100%, you know, Christians reading their Bibles, giving you information, Holy Spirit led? How do you know that? I mean, you might know because you watch them a lot and you trust them. And some of these people just might be wrong. I, I mean, I don't know. But the, the point is, is that this is not legit. And then they're not might be wrong. They're wrong because we need to look at the Bible if you want to know the truth about the rapture. Well, first here, why don't we just look at a history of the rapture, uh, the rapture prophecies. So, I mean, just in the past few years, there's been multiple ones. Here were some of the biggest ones. Uh, the blood moon prophecy when the tetrads were happening on the Jewish holidays. I thought that was interesting, actually, but nothing came to pass of it. Okay, and I'll get more into the reason why later. Also, one of the things I just could not believe, and it's just like a joke of all jokes, man, is that in the one of the videos I saw about the new rapture on the 31st is they went to the Revelation 12 sign on September 23rd, 2017. The sign that brought no rapture. I mean, come on. This was the big deal, you know? I mean, and it was a little interesting, but I knew it wasn't going to be anything because... Let's think about it here, okay? Just a YouTube video where somebody comes out with this um, is not going to be the signs foretold in the Bible. There's a lot of people on this planet, a lot of people who aren't constantly on YouTube, and these signs are going to be seen for them as well, okay? So it's not just going to be some diagram someone figured out on YouTube that, and by the way, YouTube mainly gives out the videos for that, that country, uh, and so people in different countries aren't really aren't seeing a lot of these videos so a lot of these videos are only given for specific regions really people who only see it in certain places so the word of god which was given to the entire world which also in matthew 24 says the gospel will be preached to all nations and what we're talking about here is the matthew 4 um, prophecy jesus told us about when he comes and the tribulation and all that in the end times um, that's for everybody. That's not just for a certain region of people who see a YouTube video, okay? So, I just couldn't believe that somebody started bringing this up. Uh, it's just, come on now. Come on. It makes me worried that when someone comes on the earth and is doing signs and wonders, the Antichrist and false prophet, that people, I pray and hope they won't be deceived by that because that will be a lot more tantalizing than some of these YouTube videos, I'll tell you what. But, okay, let's look at Matthew 24. Jesus speaking, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven, the powers of the heavens will be shaken. So when we're told to look for signs in the stars and in the heavens, um, we should go to the words of Jesus Christ, which tell us the exact signs that we're going to be, be, that will happen. The sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will be, fall from heaven and the heavens will be shaken. So... That's what we need to be looking for. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they'll see Jesus coming on the clouds of heaven with great power and great glory. He will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So this is when Jesus sends his angels to, to gather us the rapture. First, 29 through 30 needs to happen and that's not to mention everything else written in matthew 24 which there's a lot before that so people like to focus on this whole we're getting raptured thing and take out the rest of the bible once again if you want to know the spiritual truth of these things you need to go to the bible read matthew 24 that's where this is all a lot of it is laid out so a few things that i just want to remind people that when the end times have begun, 
Because Jesus' disciples asked him, how will we know when these things are, are going to happen? Um, uh, the first thing we need to remember is you'll hear of wars, rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, and famines, pestilence, earthquakes. Jesus says all these things must come to pass. And then he also says all these are the beginning of sorrows. So we need to pray against these things going on that they don't happen because I, for one, don't want to really go through the end times right now. I mean, I don't really ever. Who would? But, um, yeah, I mean, I just want to see Jesus and I'll stay faithful through it all the way no matter what anyhow. But that's the point. And that's actually what he says later on here. It also says they'll deliver people up um, to kill you and you'll be hated by nations for my name's sake. Um, show me where that's happening because that's not happening. And that's also um, the point that people need to remember that when people are saying, oh, the rapture is going to happen. Well, has all of this happened? Like are nations hating you for your names for G the name of Jesus and killing you? I mean, yeah, it happens in like some countries that are like practically in the Stone Age because of the religion. That's the main religion over there. But that's a totally different subject. And so, yeah, no, that's uh, – he's talking about everybody here. I mean there's not going to be like a safe haven or it's not going to be one little country. It's going to – this is entire world stuff going on. Also, the abomination and desolation. We have not seen that. We That just has not happened yet. So all those things happen and then Jesus comes on the clouds. The whole world will see him and everybody who didn't accept him and believe in him is going to – yeah, they're going to be really scared. And everybody else who believes in him will, uh, it'll be amazing, start worshiping him, I'm sure. And then we'll be um, gathered by his, by his angels. And then the wrath of God will be poured out on those who didn't believe. So these are the signs. I mean, if you're interested in this stuff, read the Bible. Don't just listen to a YouTube video because, I mean, I don't, uh, I know for a fact that these NASA website, NASA amazing things that are coming out are not the signs that we're looking for. Jesus told us the exact ones to look for, okay? So keep your eye for that if you're interested. That's just how you need to be. And there's a few verses in the Old Testament that I'd like to reference to because it's still relevant. Jesus quoted it and they quote it in the New Testament a lot. Jeremiah 10, 2 through 3, thus says the Lord, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. So there's a right way and a wrong way to understand the signs of God. I mean, the signs that will be signs from God, I think will be unpredictable. They will come out of nowhere and they will be incredible. They will not be a diagram on a YouTube video that I can't see, that probably no one in Africa knows about. No one in Russia, pro Russia probably heard about this. I would have never heard about it unless I went on YouTube. I would have never heard about this January 31st rapture unless I was on YouTube. So I don't know. People just looking for content or something. I just – I don't get it. But don't be deceived. Isaiah 47, 13 through 14, you are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you from what shall come upon you. Behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a cold to be warmed by, nor a fire to sit by. So here and in more than one place, we have God telling us that we do not need to be looking to the stars for our answers. You need to be looking to the Bible and to God for your answers. That's where you'll find them. And the people who look to these to these to the stars, they're not how it's supposed to be. I mean, in Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar called upon the, the astrologers and the sorcerers and stargazers, all those people, and they couldn't tell him his dream. Then Daniel, the man of God who knew God and had a relationship with him, told him his dream because God was grant him that ability because that's the only way you're going to know this stuff is if you're hand in hand with God, not hand in hand with random things that happen that are completely predictable. These signs that God talks about, I don't believe will be predictable. They will just happen or something will just, um, it'll start to happen or we'll hear or we'll, we'll have knowledge of it. Um, beforehand but it won't be predictable such as like a lunar eclipse which you could probably look for the next 10,000 years and know what days they'll fall on and I'm sure there's times in the past and whatnot where lunar eclipses or solar eclipses could have some 
sign from heaven, but it's not always it's not always a sign, and it's definitely not a sign of the rapture. If you want to know the rapture, read Matthew 24. Don't listen to people who tell you nice things, okay? Yeah, it's nice to think Jesus could come tomorrow. I wish he would. I wish that we, the rapture thing was real and that we would get raptured before all the bad things happen. But read Matthew 24. It does not happen that way. I'm sorry if your church tells you that, but if you're um, more devoted to your denomination than you are to God and his word and the Bible and the words of Jesus, um, then you got a major problem. So that about wraps it up. I just um, would suggest that you look at the history of the raptures, of how many times it's been claimed. And I don't mean by like lunatics people, because a lot of lunatics claim it, but um, just in, say, the YouTube community, how many times it's been said that it'll happen. I, I mean, if you're interested, um, I, they'll, I could almost guarantee there'll be a September 23rd, 2018 rapture sign. I mean, space is so huge. Yeah, if you look up in space, you're going to find something on any given day. I mean, you could probably literally do it for every single day of the week. There's some ano anomaly happening, and that's what people do. And it's just not, not how it works, my friends. So read your Bible. Look at the, the past history of these things. Your truth will come from the Bible and God and God alone. If you are looking from your signs for... Um, through YouTube videos, I highly suggest you um, switch up your ways of doing things because that's not how it's supposed to be. And I'll end the video with one of the verses here in Matthew 24 that just kind of is important. I mean, it all is, but and it's Matthew 24, 13, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. That's just um, powerful in many ways because you should endure in your faith through all tribulations including these really bad ones and Jesus says right here but he who endures to the end shall be saved not he who's sitting in his work desk and gets raptured up he will be saved no it's him who goes through all these things stays strong in the faith um, they're the ones who are going to be saved so thanks for watching God bless